the hardest part of the whole college application process is coming up with ideas for your essays. You always want to perfect it and choose the best possible one. And that's why it's so difficult. And in this video, I am literally going to lay out the most comprehensive video guide you've ever seen about brainstorming and coming up with college essay ideas. Every second of this video is going to be jam packed with valuable information. And so if you want the most out of it, I would highly recommend watching all the way through. Show, not tell. That's the advice you will see everywhere in books, in websites online about college and in YouTube videos. And I'm giving you that advice too. But what does that actually mean? In my Harvard essay, I told a story. In Stanford's essay, which was only 250 words, I managed to write a story. And in my Common App personal statement, I also wrote a story. And as someone who got into all the schools I applied to, I can vouch that writing stories is the best way to go. But how do you come up with these? How do you get the seed? Well, I want you to have a notes app on your phone. I would recommend Notion, which I'll leave in the description below, but really any notes app works. Anything you encounter, even a remotely interesting experience, I want you to jot down in the notes app. Now, I know about 50% of you are thinking right now, how are you going to come up with a stellar college essay idea from checking the mail and receiving a letter? Well, if you're a political science kid, you could talk about a voter's pamphlet and how you advocated for certain policies or certain representatives on that letter. Trust me, don't worry about if the topic seems interesting enough. We'll find that out in part two. Just write down anything and don't worry about what college admissions might think or if this would be a good essay. Now, I want you to do this for three weeks. So by the end of those 21 days, you should have at least 21 experiences to talk about. But you're 16 or 17 years old. You've had a decade prior of past experiences over a decade. And so I want you to spend the next week. So the fourth week on coming up with experiences and moments from the last 16 or 17 years of your life. By the end of the month, you now have at least 28 essay seeds. And some of these might be the most meaningless things in the world, but trust me, it will work. But I know what a lot of you guys are thinking right now, Risha, but you want me to spend an entire month? You want me to spend, I don't know, the month of May or June brainstorming ideas for the essays? Shouldn't I get started on writing and revising and all of that? Nope. I want you to spend your summer doing meaningful things. That means go out, get a job, work an internship, continue those activities, because that is really important for your Common App activity section and the honors you will receive alongside that. The essays are important and you will still have a good essay, but you'll spend the first month of your summer coming up with the idea and then the next two months or the following fall, September, October, working on the actual essays. This way you get the best of both worlds. Not only do you have a stellar essay idea, you also have actually done meaningful things in your summer and even had fun. So you now have 30 essay ideas, but how do you water these seeds and grow them? I mean, your seed could be making a YouTube video or doing a leaf rake on the weekend. How do you grow those into actual essay topics or ideas? Well, we need to categorize them. There are three categories for seeds. The first one is overcoming an obstacle or challenge. This could be mental, emotional, physical, anything. The second one is a personal passion or interest that you have, some activity, extracurricular, anything of that sort. And the third category is a moment of realization or an epiphany. So now I'm going to spin these seeds into ideas. Let me take you through seed number one, which was making a YouTube video. Well, making a YouTube video actually helped me come out of my shell. Over six years of YouTube helped me with public speaking and really opening me up for some personal growth. And so this is overcoming an obstacle or challenge. My seed number two of a leaf rake that I did. This is a personal passion or interest that I have in service. And the third seed that I didn't talk about, but watching a YouTube video on the Olympics, it's super crazy, but that turned into a realization or an epiphany, which I could relate to my experience of running. Now, guess what? These three seeds that I just mentioned are the essays that I use for Harvard, MIT, and Stanford, as well as my Common App essay, and I ended up getting in. 
as a middle distance runner, I watched as Hicham El Garouj in the Olympics video did the impossible and win two golds. For the leaf rake, I spun a crazy story about a war scene and how 50 young boys stood in a single line defense ready to wage war on a pile of leaves. You can see how you can take such a simple moment in your life, something that you honestly take for granted, and spin it, something that seems super trivial in the moment, but relate it to your passions and to yourself and come up with a beautiful story in the process. So now that we've expanded on our list of 30 essay ideas, it's time to see them blossom. But unfortunately, not every seed ends up growing into a big plant. All right, this metaphor is getting really cringe. Basically, I'm saying we need to cut down on those seeds and come up with the best ones. Now, you may look at your list and be like, I've fledged these out like in part two, but now I just have five that I think are actually good and that are worth blossoming. But that's perfect. If you apply to, I don't know, 10, even 20 schools, you can use those five essays and adapt them to each of the prompts. The reason why I categorized it into a personal challenge or an epiphany is because those are some of the most common prompts. So if you come up with ideas around those categories, you will succeed when it comes to turning those into answers for the prompts that the schools ask you. 99% of you watching this video right now are going to apply through the Common App. And the number one biggest mistake is looking at those prompts of the Common App and deciding, mm, I'm gonna do prompt number three. And then now let me come up with 10 essay ideas for prompt number three. Those are gonna be really shallow essay ideas. Instead, use my technique, come up with those five blossoming ideas and then fit them into the prompt because we haven't started writing yet. This is just the idea. We can still adapt it and tweak it to fit the exact nature of the prompt. So don't look at the prompts yet. Just lock yourself in the room, as Cal Newport would say in his book, Deep Work, and finish the essays. Write all five of them out, however long it takes, 500 words, 1,000 words, 2,000 words. Just let yourself run those through freely. Remember to be true to yourself and authentic. If you try to tailor to the admissions officer, it won't work. It'll come across as shallow. So based on my experience, I ended up getting into Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Duke, and Boston University. And this was all of the schools that I applied to. In every single one, I used a story, whether it was one of those stories that I just talked about or a couple others. Now, if this video was helpful, I'm gonna tell you to do something no YouTuber does, cause they're gonna say like, subscribe, comment, which by the way, does help with the algorithm. If you want to, you can. But I'm gonna tell you to share this with your friend group because I know your friends are struggling. So that Snapchat group, that Instagram group, whatever you use, copy this video and share it. Your friends might find it helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Now watch the next video on my college admissions stats and how I got in.